Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Life is Strange Episode 4 Darkroom. Continuing from where we left off, we have broken into the boys' dorms. Well, not broken in, but snuck in and we're about to enter Nathan's room and investigate. So let's go ahead and go inside. Wow, Max. <laughs> Hopefully no one heard that. Oh my god, this looks interesting. He's got a projector, nice. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap, like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happens, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hope you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad, but she can't keep blaming David now. <laughs> Just, it's funny how this message has popped up right after I break into Nathan's room. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. That is so Chloe. Hey asshole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh my god, so that was when she was in his room. She told us about that, remember? I'm not turning on the MP3 player. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Yes. I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. <sighs> if only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. It's pictures of the dead birds, though. How come it's so dark in here? Can I not turn the light on? No not giving me the option. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. The best son in the world. This diploma certifies that Nathan Prescott is officially the best son in the world. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. Creepy film in Nathan's room. I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Instruction f instructions for use, important safeguards. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. That's a little bit creepy, the fact that he has a selfie of Max in there photos. Hang on, did we look at that? He has everything in here. Damn, Nathan. Yes, we did. That's a nice... I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Rage on. That is so Chloe. Right, we've looked in there, so it's got to be 
lens. There we go. I've not looked at that. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. I guess time to look on the computer. Holy shit. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. To Victoria Chase. Hey gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing in the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious party favours. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Vortex Club, Kate's gone wild, so it's uploaded on You Roll, which is basically YouTube, let's face it. Oh, man. <laughs> Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. From Sean Prescott, Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden and I'll guide you into this room step by step as I did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny. But you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck up, son. Your father. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. To Nathan from Christine Prescott. Tudo Ben from Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholar scholastic life at Blackwell. I brag to all my co-workers in Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world, even though I can't always check my mail or phone. Please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for, be it, just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove. Sending out good thoughts. Better write back or I'll have a jaguar shipped to your dorm. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. From Principal Wells, Nathan, I'd like to apologise for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you distracted from school and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Nathan Prescott, all-American teen. But some boobs. Please, please, please stay away, Nathan. Where the friggin' hell is this phone? I've looked at that, I've looked at that, I've looked at that, scratch marks, ooh. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Maybe move the couch? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone, you are mine now. Oh my god, wow, he hides his phone. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Let's leave then. Damn. 
Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. Yeah, Warren. Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh my god, Warren. Headbutt. You are so fucking dead. Shit, he's got a gun. <sighs> it's too. He's going a bit too far, but still. I can rewind. Now, I want to see both options, so I'm going to go with Stop Warren first and see what happens. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh! Oh, my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! Let's go. Now! Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you! Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Alright, let's see what happens when we do stay out of it. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Oh, shit! Oh my god! He's proper going to town! Oh my god! On me! Please! Oh my Please god, stop. Warren! Jesus! He's down! Hey, come on! Stop! <laughs> Sorry! Yes, we have to go! Oh, we get the gun though! We get the gun! Who's the best? That's now? worth it! Chloe. Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. Okay, so... This really hurts. I'm not happy with how far that beatdown went, but I am happy that we got Nathan's gun. And I think this is the better option just because we've took the gun. Sure, he could go out and get another gun, but it's far better that we've taken this one away because that's going to take some time for him to get a new gun. So I am going to stick with this it. choice. I'm really sorry and I do feel bad for Nathan because that beatdown did go way too far but I do think having his gun is the better option so I'm going to stick with that. God, who knew Warren could like lay the smack down Damn. like that? That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're yeah, it's interesting to see he does have know. a violent streak in him. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes. <laughs> you are.
Yeah, but it was t that step too far. Seeing someone snap like that yeah, is that scary because so all you've got to do is think, oh, could they do that to me, you know? He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. And now we should have two guns because Chloe's still got a gun and we've got the gun we took off Nathan. All the whales on the beach. I think that's a photo op actually. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so glad <laughs> to hate you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Can I actually, like, go down to the whales? There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. This is where my nightmare started. Lighthouse. How can all of this not be connected to a major storm? Here we go, photo op. blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Okay, let's head over here. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Chloe looks ready to rumble. Let's do this. Time to go. This is going to be interesting. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. 
You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay. Okay. Oh. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? He does have a soft Just side. Just of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? We already had those. <laughs> oh, I can, al I can actually say you already did. You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. I do know no, more than no, you I'm do. Not, I Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Ooh. Get it? Step the fuck back now! Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, my oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Chloe. Shit, she just killed the dog and him. We should rewind this. Oh no! Chloe... I just shot a man... and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. Can I rewind this or not? Because maybe when I find the code, I can rewind and then That's it's it. like, oh, I've got the code already. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it. Can change it. That's what I'm doing. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you'd be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Watch your mouth. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. Let's see if anything's changed, though. Oh, look. I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog. That figures. Awesome, because that's what caused it. The dog coming out. Thank you, Frank. 
can be okay, reasoned there. with. Okay, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then pulled the trigger! Ah, uh, you scared me. To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands, like it was a magnum. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I, I yeah, only exactly. want to shoot with my camera. I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Gave dog a bone. Pompadour is cute. Train to kill. Dog rescue. Pompadour is oh, cute. Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into oh, my shit. RV. <laughs> That's how we got out. You did it. Are you crazy? That's my dog. Wait. That's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here! And I'll spin you on your ass! What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just don't talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! Here we Set go. It's gonna now. happen again. Oh my god! Oh. You actually shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Oh, this fucking hurts! He wasn't oh, gonna hurt no. her, you had a knife! Chloe! You shot him! I know! You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... We just want the code for your account book. Now! You're fine, whatever, just... Just put the goddamn gun down, you already shot me, alright? There. Now leave me alone, alright? Just... Just get out of my life! Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's I'm wait. not happy with this. I'm gonna rewind again. Oh, you can't! Oh, I can't. Listen, Cl Max, I should've... Please, watch. You kind of love this. I... Frank, uh... You aim your gun. Okay. Just the name. Oh, is that... Listen, Frank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no t Yeah, yeah, well... Come on, Frank, the Right, okay. Frank... What, you, you... You scared me? To be honest... I could tell... I don't I, want I, anyone to get hurt from this Frank, conversation, Max basically. We're only... Shit, you... Dog rescue, maybe? Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. 
No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Rachel's letter, Rachel's bracelet. Oh no! What are you hiding, Frank? You should want to help us, not scare us away. Don't you accuse me of anything. You don't know me or who I am. Or what I can do, you understand? Huh? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late, she's gone! You don't even know her! Like you did? I loved her, asshole! And she loved me. There goes Chloe, mouthing oh, off again. you don't know shit! You were part of her problem! Always trying to take her away from me! Always! Calm down, Frank. Let's just Don't talk. Don't you ever tell me. Rewind again. I will do it so that no one gets hurt. At least we get a new lines of conversation, though. Dokes. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Take the trash out sometime, dude. Surprised he's allowed to just park up here. Listen, Cl <sighs> please. You kind of love. Frank. You aim your... Just the... Oh, is that... Listen. Yeah, yeah. There's no... Yeah, yeah. Come on, Frank. Right, okay. Frank. What, you... you... To be honest... I could tell... I... I... Look, Frank. We're we're only shit. You... Of course. No, all right. That's very. Maybe we can focus. Yes. You and Chloe. Rachel's letter, maybe. Listen, I read Rachel's letter. I know how much she cares about you. You read that letter? Huh? The one in my RV? Uh. Are you fucking insane? You read my private letter? Man, there is something about you that is so... We don't... We get to see all the different options though, I guess. I'm gonna ask about the bracelet, because that's the thing that's viewable. Cause he's still wearing it, isn't he? So... Listen... Please... You kind of... Frank. You aim you. Just the Oh, is that? Listen. Yeah, yeah. There's no. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Frank. 
Right, okay. Frank. What you you to be honest. I could tell I, I oh. look Frank Mac We're only Shit you Of course No, alright. That's very Alright, let's try Maybe Rachel's bracelet this time. Yes. You and Chloe. You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. Understand? Man, there is something about you. Ah, oh, so we that's the wrong one as well. Oh my word, we'll get there eventually. Listen, Chloe. Please. You kind of love. Frank. You aim your. Just the name. Oh, is that. Listen. Yeah, yeah. There's no. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Frank. Right, okay. Frank. What you. To be up. I could tell. I. Look, Frank, Mac. We're only. Shit. Of course. No, alright. That's very. Maybe we can focus. Yes. You and Chloe. Okay, so I picked Rachel's letter, bracelet, what are you hiding, and I haven't chosen you know Rachel, so let's Frank, see. you knew Rachel almost better than anybody, and you know more than us. Together we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is, not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. Yes! My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Yay! No one got killed! No one got shot! Victory at last! I think that's the job done well. It took a while, but we did it. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here. Don't forget to like, comment, favourite, and share. It really does help me out as a YouTuber. And as always, thank you for watching.